All right, you guys, if you're anything like me, you have packets like this from World Market or Farmer's Markets or Specialty Markets or Bulk Markets or any other place. Um, I always get these little packets uh, from different places that I go to. For instance, this is yellow mustard seed that I get in bulk um, down in Los Angeles that I use for cooking. What would an Indian store be without spices? Spices, spices, thousands of spices over here, spices. I think the chimichurri was a gift from somebody. Uh, we got some seven spice blends. You can see we got I mean, juniper berries. All these stuff are, are great. And I do use them at different times. I even have uh, some stuff in the Middle Eastern store. But here's the problem. Once you open this, what do you do with it? Um, because you don't want to try to keep it. This one actually has a Ziploc bag, which is nice. But, you know, once I open this, then we're in trouble. Don't have any place to keep it. So, uh, let me show you some jars. So if you're a pack rat like me, I have a couple boxes of different sizes and shapes of containers that I keep in my house uh, for instances like this. I also send uh, things home with people, samples or uh, leftover food from a party or anything else like that. So just to give you a little rundown here, we have a standard coffee can, Talenti ice cream. Um, this is a grinder uh, from Trader Joe's, some kind of a spice jar and a couple different sizes of jam jars. So this is something I opened the other night that I needed. It is uh, ground chilies from New Mexico, if I can show you that. Um, it came in a spice packet like this. I already get to open this up because then I had the idea to make this video for you guys. So uh, this packet came like this, sealed on here, and I had opened the corner. So I thought, what a great idea to show you guys what I do in my kitchen because it's really simple. So I take one of the clean jars, very easy, I open it up. I then cut out the label so I know what's here. Now most of the time I can remember it is, but there are other people in my kitchen. I just pop this little th sucker in here, like this. Just make sure it's flat and level. Then put in a funnel, boop a doop The end is already cut open from when I was using it. And then just push this through slowly. And I pack it around the I pack it around the the nameplate so it's tight and it will hold it up against the glass. And then, in theory, look at that perfect size. Check it out. Perfectly fit. Perfect. We can get rid of that because we don't need it. We got rid of this. We don't need it. Pop on the lid, good to go. All right, you guys, I thought I'd do one more since I had this going here. So um, I did a video with, uh, I had to use these sprinkles for doing some ugly sweater, and then we also did an Easter video. So uh, again, we just have an extra jar here. I'm gonna use a bigger funnel just because it has a bigger hole in the bottom. And just dump these suckers in. Think they're gonna fit. There we go. Boom. Good to go. Candy's in a jar. Hope that helps. It is hot as India in here.